In this video, you'll learn how to import contacts from another platform into your Active Campaign account so you can start sending them campaigns. Plus, I'll share a way to do this that's painless, quick, and easy for you to do using Active Campaign's help. I'm Jason Gross, specialist at Wildmail, where we help make Active Campaign even better for your base businesses. Let's dive in. Now, as I mentioned, there are two main ways that people typically import their contacts into Active Campaign. And the first is to add individual contacts manually. Now, this is great if you have a small amount of contacts and you want to have full control over adding in each contact, importing each one into your Active Campaign account. So we're going to jump right into our Active Campaign account and we're going to go to contacts in the left hand menu. And then from here, we're going to click add a contact. When we do that, we can fill in the information. You can click this here, this link here, in order to show the rest of the custom fields and fill in that information. You can also select the deal owner from your team and then click add. Now, once you do that, it'll give you the option to add that contact to lists. Remember, you can check out this video to see how to best organize your CRM with one main list and tags for segmentation. You can add that contact to a deal, add it to automations, add tags. We also recommend as best practices tagging that imported user based on where they came from. So if you're pulling them from another database, another platform, give them a tag so you remember where they came in from and you can still segment within Active Campaign with your campaigns, your automations based on where you're importing that contact from. And just remember, if you're triggering any automations that are active with a list as the trigger, adding to a list, adding to a deal, adding a specific tag, when you do that, this will trigger those automations. So just keep that in mind when you're adjusting that and configuring that for each contact. Once you've added this, you can hit apply and that will add in your contact one by one. Now, obviously this is a bit slow, so the second main way that you can add in your contacts is to import them using a CSV file. So again, we're going to go to contacts in the left menu and click import this time and click import from file. So we'll go back to our contacts, click import and import from file. Before we do that, I do want to show you this option here. You can type or paste existing contacts into this box and it shows you the format to use it. However, it's much easier, cleaner and more organized to do it with a CSV file. So we'll click that and we'll select this sample file, which we're actually going to link in the description below. This is given to us from Active Campaign themselves. And you can see here the columns of the form that they give us and we're going to match directly to these over here. Okay. We've got organization. This is just an example. Uh, you can match the phone to a phone field. We've got a date base field here. They show you exactly the format that it should be in. They show you how to have a field with multiple values and uh, multiple tags as well. And I can pull that up right now to show you what it looks like. So you've got your email address, which is required for all contacts you want to import first name, last name, their organization, their phone number. This is what a date based field looks like and how it should be formatted. This is how a field with multiple values should be formatted with the two, the two bars there in between each value. And then tags are separated by commas. You can also select do not import this field. If you want to skip over a certain field for all contacts that you're trying to import, you can choose to add them to a list, choose to add specific tags. Again, remember we recommend adding a tag to remind you where that contact was imported from. You can also select this box. You can tick it here and this will check to see if there's an existing contact based on the email that is shared within the CSV file. And if there is, it'll just update the existing contact. And then you've got more advanced options down here. If you have any questions about these, just let us know in the comments below. We'd be happy to help you with these advanced settings as they apply to your specific use case. Now, there are other ways to import your contacts they are a bit more advanced, and those include syncing to a MySQL database, importing contacts through the API, syncing contacts from other apps with integrations, and of course, creating forms so that people can subscribe by email, which we'll cover in another video. 
If you have any questions about those more advanced ways of importing contacts, just drop them below. We'd be happy to help out. Now, I said that I'd share a bonus way for you to be able to get this done, import your contacts in the quickest, fastest way possible, the most painless way possible as well for you, because you really don't have to do any kind of work like you do with the manual importing or importing via a CSV file. And that is using the free migration service offered by Active Campaign. So if you're coming to Active Campaign from another platform, Active Campaign will actually help you with a free migration service. They'll make sure that you don't lose any of your contacts, your automations, etc. They'll import these lists, contacts, custom fields, tags. They'll even recreate some of your forms, your landing pages for you, depending on which software you're coming from. So this free migration is definitely something to take advantage of. And you can still do that through us at Wild Mail. We're happy to help. We have a fast line to Active Campaign support where we can help you migrate all of that information, including your contacts, import them into your new Active Campaign account so that you can get started from where you left off in the previous platform. Uh, with all of your contacts and all of the information in Active Campaign with a more powerful platform. So if that's something that you're interested in, also just drop a comment below if you're curious to, to learn how that works. Uh, and we'd be happy to share more information about that with you.